the, the thing is, you need to understand this culture. Unfortunately, it's all been messed up and botched up. We are a godless country, we are a country without any morals. There's no morality in this country. We could live like this and really live well because there was a huge rise of consciousness. Everything could be looked at simply the way it is. People were ruled by their consciousness, not by morality, not by the fear of punishment, simply by the sense of living. So because there was such a society, anything could be talked anywhere and there was no issue. Well, that's not the condition right now, that's a different thing. But this is how this culture and this nation evolved. It took thousands of years of work to get this mass of people to that state. But slowly that is changing because now we have taken in Western morality where something is good, something is bad, something is God, something is devil, something is high, something is low, something is pure, something is impure. There was no such thing in this culture. We just saw life just the way it is. How much of what to do in your life is an individual choice. If you… because we clearly understood the nature of human mind, in this mind if you say, something is bad, do not think about it, that will become the full-time job in the minds of your friends. <laughs> but any… any mind, if you say, don't think about this, only that they will think. People who did not understand the nature of human mind brought morality into life. People who understood the mind, the way it is, in this culture we never said anything is bad or good. We just said, this is how it is. How much of what you do in your life is an individual choice. How much this person eats and how much that person eats is an individual choice. But now Western doctors are telling us, all of us eat so many calories. It's just rubbish. That's not the, how the way the body works. If you eat, let us say, uh, let's say you eat one kilogram of food, same type of food, let's say the same nourishment. Both of you may be same body weight, maybe, let's say. Both of you are same body weight, both of you eat one kilogram of food, it'll not go well. In one person, this food may go well. In another person, maybe only half a kilogram goes well and they still maintain weight. This is a fact. You try it and see, take ten people and see, this is a fact. But now they're telling you, mass producing everything, you know. Everybody must eat this many calories of food, only then you'll have this much energy. This is simplistic nonsense. Especially when it comes to subjective dimensions of who you are, this morality of everybody must do this, everybody must do that, never worked. Different people's needs are different. And we have produced so many perverted human beings on the planet because we just said something is wrong and you should not think about it. If you just let it be, reproductive organs are a small part of who you are. But what should be in the repro reproductive organ has been very efficiently pushed up into the human head. Now sexuality is not happening in, in their bodies, it's happening in their head all the time. In your body it's a natural process, in your head it's a sickness, yes? In your body, <laughs> it is just a natural process, we are all born out of it. There is nothing right about it, wrong about it, it's just one little aspect of our life. If we resist it, it'll rise into our head and now it looks like entire life is just about that. Today, I would say, tell me if I'm exaggerating the percentage, today I would say, Ninety-five percent of human energy is either invested in sex or money. Yes or no? These are two small aspects of your life. One is about your survival, another is a certain aspect of your physiology, okay? It has become so big because somebody told you these two things are wrong. We never looked at it that way, so somebody wrote a text on that. 
what are all the different ways it happens, what are all the different types of bodies that people have, and compatibility of two different individuals. Everything in explicit detail somebody wrote because they never thought, I mean they're not looking at like this, they don't, they did not think it's pornography, you understand? They're just describing life as it is. So today's eyes look at Kama Sutra as an authentication of pornography, okay? No, that's not what it is. It, they're just talking about it like they would have talked about anything. Because it's just one more thing. They did not think it's everything. They saw it as just one more thing, so they wrote it like that. So it's like your physics te chemistry textbook, just like that they wrote a sexual textbook. They didn't make much bones out of it. But now in today's world, now people are looking at it like it's some kind of a endorsement for all the perversions they have. 